Ah, I want to describe as it. It will be slow, calming, romantic, like love. If I were to describe Zapin, you will be upbeat, fast-paced, and festive. <laughs> Zapin and Asli are two different kinds of traditional Malay dancers. <laughs> Many people might think that traditional Malay dance is just like one simple dance with like no style or just one style. But no, there is Asli, Inang, Zapin, Masri and, and then Joget. Joget. And the speed and tempo are pretty different. And there are specific movements also for each and every one of them. Dance has always been a way for the Malay community to celebrate the happy occasions like the wedding or after a good catch or a harvest. Malay dance let me express my feelings and let go all of my stress. Just be having fun, just wiggle at everybody, you know. She wiggle a lot. She wiggle everywhere. <laughs> Since our country is like a multiracial country, we should just have the effort to understand each other more. I feel proud because I get to teach others about the traditional Malay dance. Sometimes you have to also listen to the younger uh, people. So there are four elements in Malay dance which are very important. Piraga. The movement of techniques which you have to learn with your hands and feet and whole body. Virama is the sense of rhythm where you have to move along with the music. Virasa, how you feel while you dance. <laughs> and lastly is Vichara, which is how you represent your dance in the very end. There are some common Malay dance moves that are inspired by everyday movements. Walking, picking of flowers, or just saying excuse me. The really, really important one is your eyes and your smile. Focus your eyes on your hands and if it's not your hands, it's usually the direction for where you're going to. Kick right, then you look to the right side. Yes, like this. <laughs> These are the six steps that you will see commonly in Malay dance. Lenggang is inspired by walking. You have to bend your knees and it always starts with the right leg up. So, you're going to swing our hand like this. And this hand, it doesn't go too high or too low, just nice in the middle. And the other hand, it goes just right beside you. And for the legs, it's just one step, step, step. There are two speeds in this lenggang. So first is this uh, fast speed. And then for Asli, it's the slow, slow speed. These common steps are used in like most or all dancers, but depending on the speed and tempo, it becomes completely different. But once you learn it, you can put it all together to learn Zapin and Asli. Asli is a slow, graceful style of Malay dance that usually expresses feelings of love and sadness. The dance is accompanied by pantun, which are traditional Malay poems. These pantuns are often sung as a love ballad known as Dondang Saya, which accompany the story of the dance. Asli literally means original. It came from people of the Malay Peninsula and also Northern Sumatra, Indonesia. It is one of the first style of the traditional folk dances that was ever recorded. Some say Asli as a dance form can be traced all the way back to the 14th century. I don't know, but they said that was 700 years ago. We have to warm up um, so that we won't hurt ourselves and prepare for the dance. Down works, but if you can love it, never mind. Ankle, yeah, ankle clockwise. <laughs> this is the starting position for Asli. You will always have your right leg pointing on the ground. My favourite part is uh, the Simba. Uh, this is actually like the starting of or the ending of uh, the dance Asli. Open, then you close. Then when you open again, then you close. 
My favorite dance move in ASI is called Pekek Bunga. Picking the flower and showing the flower. Zapin, on the other hand, falls under the category of like adopted Malay dance. Influenced by other cultures, it is also music and dance brought into many different parts of the world by traders and missionaries from Yemen and also another way to spread the religion of Islam in the 14th century. In the past, it used to be religious. Only men can do zapin. Now, we use it for entertainment and for celebrations so that women and men can dance zapin together. Zapin comes from the Arabic word zafin, which means the movement of the foot following the beat of the music, which really makes sense because zapin is really like a fast and upbeat dance. Tumpang lalu is basically a polite way of say, saying, Excuse me. Yes. You have to bend your knees, you have to put your hands to your hips, your hands down, and then you bend forward and then you move. It's like saying, Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> So what we just did was um, the basic step of zapping but in partner work back to back. So this is like the chicken wing, move left and move right. Then you open your wing, then you move left, move right. And this is important to mark the beginning and ending of the zapping dance. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? This is actually a traditional Malay costume which are like more fancier than the usual costumes. This is anting anting. This is bunga. This is siput. This is sanggul. This is the sarong. This is the karongsang. This is the slendang. And this is the kebaya. What's special about the Zapin um, outfit is that our outfit is more wider because we have a lot of wider leg movements. And we have slightly more layers. And it looks more grand. Bangkong. Something, kain songket. Sometimes we use dance props and accompanying instruments. So some of the common dance props that you might see is a kompang, which is a traditional drum made from goat skin and wood from a jackfruit tree. A rabai, which is a smaller hand drum that we usually use as a prop. Tapak sireh, a traditional container which symbolizes happiness, peace, and harmony. The sapu tangan, a handkerchief, a payong, umbrella, kipas, a fan, and lastly, a tambourine. So all of these props help to make a performance pop. The aim of the dance is to express and celebrate and also to be more confident.
Art is a very interesting and fun way to get to know other cultures. We don't really have to explain. Once you see, you can just feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>